Hi everyone, welcome to this video. Now, I'm be discussing a brief um, explanation about the truth table. So, a truth table is a table that shows the value of every statement. So, let's start. So, the first one when we're discussing now a truth table is what we call the negation. So, given now a statement such as statement P, a statement could have a two could have two values such as true or false. So T stands for true and F stands for false. So when we negate now the statement, we get now the reverse. We get now the other value aside. Uh, we get the other value of the statement. So if it's true, when you negate now that, that would be false, and false would be true. So that's now how it works when it comes to negation. Okay. Now let's go to the next one. So. In the conditional, so a conditional is false when hypothesis is true and the conclusion is false. So as you can see now, we have two statements, which is statement P and Q. So if it's true, then true, then the answer would be, the value would be true. If it's true, then false, the value would be false. And false, then true, then true. And false, then false, then true. Uh, the answer would be true. So that's how it works when it comes to conditional. Another, when it comes to the true table, you might encounter conjunction. So the conjunction is true when both statements are true. So as you can see now, given again two statements such as statement P and Q, and then you want to get the conjunction, so P and Q. So the first case would be both true, so that would be true. Next case would be true and false, that so would be false. And then false and true, that would be false. And then both false would be false. That's how it works when it comes to conjunction. Now, Another statement we have is what we call the disjunction. So the disjunction is false when both statements are false. So we have, again, two statements, P and Q. So if the case would be P or Q, true and true, that would be true. True and or false, that would be true. And then false or true, that would be true. And then both false, so that would be false or false, then would be false. And we got now here the last one, which is the bicon biconditional. So the biconditional is true when both statements are true or false. So two statements again, P and Q. So P if and only if Q. So both true would be true. If one, if they are different, true and false, that would be false. And that goes again, that goes as well with false and true. So that would be false. And then both false, so false, if and only if false, that would be true. Now, I hope you learned something about the truth table, and thank you for watching this video. Have a great day.